Hello, and welcome to this guided meditation about developing your remote viewing abilities. This journey is about learning about yourself, connecting with your subconscious mind and the universal consciousness. To begin, find a comfortable seat and remove all distractions. If you can't find a quiet place, then reduce the external distractions as much as possible. Sit down, relax your shoulders, and close your eyes gently. You are going to breathe in deeply through your nose. Hold your breath for a moment and deeply breathe out through your mouth. Let's begin. Take a deep and slow breath in. Hold it for a moment and fully breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it and let it go. With each breath, you start to release the tension from your body Keep breathing in this way a few times. Now you are going to deepen your relaxation by scanning your body and releasing the tension from it. And now you are aware of the top of your head, your forehead, eyes, cheeks, ears, jaws, your entire head, and feel how the energetic blocks are cleared bit by bit with your gentle effort and naturally with the power of awareness. And now you move to your neck, throat, chest, Lungs, heart, abdomen, pelvic area, and feel the deep relief from the accumulated tension you may not be aware of in the first place. And you go and allow the metaphoric awareness to alter and restore energy and balance in your thighs. Knees. Calves. Shins. Ankles. Feet. And now you feel the changes of energy in your lower, middle, and upper back, your shoulders, arms, hands, palms, fingers. You feel more harmony and balance throughout your entire body. Do 
Give yourself some time to focus on your third eye chakra that is located between the eyebrows at the center of your head. As you keep focusing on it, you visualize how its beautiful and pulsating indigo or purple light expands through the central part of your brain. Your pine cone-like gland, called pineal gland, and your right brain hemisphere. Your left brain hemisphere, your entire head, and beyond. It's like one pulsating star. Feel the expansion of energy. The third eye center is similar to the eye of Horus in the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. It is also known as the all-seeing eye, the eye of God inside the human mind, eye of the truth or insight, mind's eye, and others. The eye of Horus shape fits the median section of the brain including locations of the thalamus, pineal, and pituitary glands, corpus callosum, and the fornix. The corpus callosum is a thick bundle of nerve fibers connecting two halves of the brain. The fornix is an arch-like bundle of white matter fibers surrounding the thalamus that is located between the cerebral cortex and the midbrain. The oval-shaped pituitary gland is located at the base of the brain behind the nose bridge. With your awareness, trace these brain areas and points and feel how the indigo or purple light spreads through them.
seeing through the spiritual eye is seeing through eons. There are no limited lenses. Time and space are irrelevant. With your inner eye, you can see the distant sites you have never visited before. Find lost objects. Discover new phenomena. Describe the non-local events that happened a long time ago, and so on. This is a journey about peeling the layers of ego and activating your right brain more. Seeing things through a much bigger perspective and self-actualizing. Feel how you become more connected to intuition, inner wisdom, and higher consciousness. Feel how this pulsating light aligns you more with the subtle dimensions and movements of energy. You may start to perceive things beyond your physical senses. In the following movements, you are going to visit one ancient temple that you have never seen before. At the beginning of this practice, let go of any mental stories, desiring certain outcomes or having assumptions about it. Let go of controlling ego. The universe is non-local. We are all connected to the web of life and consciousness. Now take a few deep and long breaths Relax your body and empty your mind. Empty your mind from thoughts and vivid images that may pop up. Let your mind be like black and vast canvas. In the beginning, the easily identifiable images are more likely to be the parts of your imagination not the process of remote viewing. Your focus is on the ancient temple. Start by perceiving the information about the temple and its surroundings. Is it surrounded by water or land? What is your impression about its entrance? What part of the temple stands out from the rest? Notice the width, height, length, Take a bird's eye view perspective and notice your impressions. When you receive the impressions, you can choose to open your eyes and write down what you perceived without any judgment. Also, you can sketch the information you got.
Now close your eyes, empty your mind, and allow any further details to come to you. What can you perceive in its interior? Who built it? Can you perceive any visual detail? Colors, smells, tastes, or temperature? What are your impressions about its walls, objects, decorations, shapes, sizes, or patterns? What stands out here? After you get information, open your eyes and draw a sketch or write the details down. At this moment, you can leave your notes aside and go through them later or the next day. In this way, you can get insights about connections of your impressions you haven't noticed in the process of remote viewing. You can reflect on your experience and how this practice can improve your life. Now stretch your back, arms, and legs a bit Wiggle your toes and fingers. And when you are ready, you can move on. <laughs> 